Hello guys, this is the Polyglot Programmer and today we're going to talk about UI nodes and more specifically we're going to talk about the five most used UI nodes in my opinion. So we're going to talk about the five most, the five UI nodes that I use the most for at least 80% of the time, right? Do you know about the, the 80 to rule? Meaning that like 80% uh, of the time you're going to use 20% of the nodes or the classes or whatever. This, this rule kind of applies to a bunch of different aspects of life. And today we're going to apply them to UI nodes. And which are these nodes? Which are the nodes that I use most of the time? At least the five ones on top of my list. The five nodes on top of my list are a panel. We're going to get into it. And second one is a V box container. Third is a H box container. Uh, fourth is a label, of course. And fifth, last but not least, a button. And if you master these five nodes, uh, you can pretty much do a lot. Trust me, you can do a lot with only these guys, right? And we're going to see that in action right now. So let's go get into Godot, right? And right here, we have an empty project with a 2D scene. And I already added here a canvas layer, which uh, in one of my previous videos, I explained why you should have a canvas layer, but it's kind of a good practice. So try to add your UI nodes all inside of a canvas layer. Um, but yeah, let me just save this. Uh, great main scene. So now we're just gonna create a, a simple menu. It could be like a, could be like a pause menu. It could be like whatever you want, right? So for now, let, let, let's just call it a pause menu, right? So let's add. So what I would do here is that I would add a panel, right? Um, usually I like to keep my UI nodes uh, kind of using the single responsibility principle. So I create like several layers of different UI nodes, each UI node doing one thing, but one kind of laid on top of the other one. And a lot of times I just have a panel in the back, um, just stretched out to the entire viewport. And if you don't want to your background to be grayed out, one thing that you can do with your panel is that you can come here to theme overrides, styles, and empty. There you go. So then you do have a panel here but you can't really see it right or of course if you want to have some sort of style you can also use a texture or flat it's really common and so on and so forth but this is a panel a panel is just a container uh with uh let's say a free um free transform inside so you can so anything that you add inside your uh let's say your panel in here uh, let's add a text erect uh, and let's just add an image here, right? In, in, inside your panel, you can, you can, you can place things however you want. They're not particularly organized, except that if you want to inside your panel, you can still use the anchor. So for example, I want to anchor this to the middle I want to anchor this to the blah, the bottom, the, the corners and so on and so forth. Right. And, and there you go. So this is what a panel does. It's basically a container of other uh, other UI nodes inside, right? Okay, but this is not what we're gonna do. So the next guy that we're gonna they're gonna use is a VBox container. So let's add a VBox container. VBox container, and I want this guy in the middle, right? And why is because. Uh, the VBox container, basically, it's a virtual box. So as you can see here in the little icon here, right? It's like everything that you add in here, it's not like the panel where you can pick and choose where things are going to go. With the VBox container, uh, things are going to go one on the top, one on top of the other, right? So for example, here, if I, uh, I'm going to add a button, right? Uh, actually, before I add a button, uh, no, 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 I'm going to add a label. Actually, let's add a label. Uh, my menu, great. 
And this is here. Uh, I let's just give it a let's just make it bigger. Great. And now I'm gonna add a button. Uh, you can see that the label, for example, I don't really have the anchor options. Just like, for example, if I if I pick my VBox container, since that the parent, the direct parent of that guy is a panel, I have my anchor presets over here. If I click on my label and my button, um, I do not have the anchor presets. I do have the alignment ones, which are not exactly the same, but everything that I add in here, they're going to be one on top of the other. So let's just make this, um, yeah, button one, right? And uh, again, uh, let me just make this a bit taller. No, this is too much. This is, yeah. And now I'm just going to add another button, right? I'm just duplicated this guy, button two, right? So for now, what do we have here? We have a panel, right? We have, which we can place things inside freely. Basically we have a V-Box container, which we, everything that we add are gonna pile up on top of each other, basically, right? Respecting the alignment and also respecting the minimum size of things that you add in here. So for example, I can have a but this button can have minimum of 75, but uh, this other button here can have a minimum of 50 so there are there are different sizes but they're still uh, stacked on top of each other right and now inside my box my v box container i'm actually gonna go ahead and i'm gonna add a h box container an h box container is the same as a v box container but in, instead of uh piling up things one on top of the the other they're gonna set things one next to it to to the other right so they're gonna set things here uh, so I have a VBox container, um, yeah, and let me just duplicate this button. I'm going to use another button again. I'm going to, I'm going to drag this third button here inside my VBox container, right? And now, you know, I'm just going to duplicate this guy, right? <clears throat> so what this, as, as you can see here, this guy started to organize things one next to each other. and since I do not have, since I do not have in my layout here, I do not have a minimum uh, X value for this. Then it's taking the value of the the text, right? But uh, this is not pretty. So one thing that you could do here is is that you could play with the alignment, right? So for example, if I have this horizontally aligned, this would be beautiful. Right, and the same I could do here. Uh, yeah, and this. Uh, uh, yeah, and now this guy, instead of this, I'm gonna have this. There you go, so now I have my buttons. Uh, let me let me just run this, select current. Um, now I have my buttons aligned to these sides because I, I told them to do this with the alignment properties. I have here a panel in my back. I have a, as in my background, I have a label uh, as a title of my menu. I have a button uh, inside a VBox container. Everything's inside a VBox container. And the last item of my VBox container is HBox container, which inside of it, I have two diff two buttons. Uh, both of them aligned to the, the left and the right. So. Now you can just extrapolate on this and imagine all the different menus that you can do, right? Uh, and with only this five UI nodes over here, you can build 80% of everything that you can do, if not more. Um, so I hope you guys like this video. Leave the comments down below if you have any questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.